You may already know that a collection of numbers, operation signs, and grouping symbols is called an expression. When variables are part of an expression, it is called a variable expression. Here is a variable expression. a plus b take away 8. And now we're going to try to evaluate the expression for values that were given for the variable. So we're going to be given that a is 9 and b is 12. But before we do that, we should look at something called the substitution property, also known as the substitution principle, or often just called substitution. And that states that an expression may be replaced by another expression that has the same value. Well, here are some common examples. We have an addition problem, 3 plus 2, and we substitute a 5 because it's simpler to write than 3 plus 2. Here's a problem involving the addition of two fractions. But as you may have learned quite a while ago, we often find what's called the common denominator for the two fractions, in this case 4. So we keep the 1 fourth the same, but we substitute 2 fourths for the 1 half because 2 fourths is equal to 1 half. And then we substitute again when we get the final sum, which is 3 fourths. Here's a fraction that is also equal to 3 fourths, 9 twelfths. And when we put it in lowest terms, we get 3 fourths, and we're substituting 3 fourths, the fraction in lowest terms, for our original fraction, 9 twelfths. And here's yet another example. We have 2 to the fifth power, which we know we can substitute as 2 times 2 times 2 times 2 times 2, or, of course, 32, the product. Well, now back to our expression. Let's now substitute the 9 in for A and the 12 in for B, and then we have a rather simple expression, addition and subtraction. Addition goes first because it's written first, and we finish it up and we get 13. If two variables are written together, they are to be multiplied. So here we have AB means A times B. If a number and a variable are written together, they are to be multiplied. So here we have 3B means 3 times B. The number is called the coefficient of the variable. So in this case, the coefficient is 3 and the variable is B. Since multiplication is commutative, it is true that 3 times B is equal to B times 3, but it is not customary to write B3. Always write the coefficient first. Evaluate the expression for a equals 9 and b equals 12, but we have a new expression. And so we're going to substitute the 9 in for a and the 12 in for b. Now we have to put the time sign in when we substitute because otherwise it would be 39 and 512, but that's not what it means. It means 3 times whatever a is. So if a is 9, it means 3 times 9. And for 5b, it means 5 times 12. And now in this expression, the multiplications go first, and then the subtraction and the addition from left to right. And our final simplified answer for this expression is 83. To summarize, evaluate variable expressions by substituting given values for the variables.